All right, just sharing this for a moment so we can read through our first problem for this video. This video is on problems from uh, the 5.3 si slides, page seven. So our first problem, suppose that the bank has also offered the Jacksons a 7-1 ARM with a term of 30 years and an interest rate of 5.7% per year compounded monthly for the first seven years and an interest only loan for a term of 30 years and an interest rate of 5.94% per year for the first seven years. If the Jacksons limit their monthly payment to $2,000 per month, what is the maximum amount they can borrow with each of these mortgages? So, with our first problem, or with our first situation with the 7 slash 1 ARM, we have I equals I over M as always, uh, R over M as always. And that in this case is 0 0.057 over 12 which is 0 0.00475. And N is 360. And R equals 2000. We use our amortization, uh, sorry, our um, annuity formula, P equals R, times one minus one plus i to the negative n over i, which gives us r, uh, sorry, it gives us 2000 times one minus 1.00475 to the negative 360, all over 0 0.005, which comes out to approximately 344,589.68. Um, again, we're gonna round that off to the nearest dollar which is three hundred forty-four thousand five hundred eighty five hundred ninety dollars. If instead we they accept the um, interest-only loan, then the interest per year on their loan is zero point zero five nine four p dollars. But this is equal to their payments for the year, which are 12 times $2,000. And that's equal to 0 0.0594, that should be a 594p there. Okay, then P equals 12 times 2,000 or 24,000 over 0 0.0594, which is approximately 404,040 dollars and 40 cents, which will round off to the nearest dollar so that's $404,040 at most. We'll share this again. 
so we can look at the next problem. Five years ago, Campbell secured a five slash one uh, adjustable rate mortgage to help finance the purchase of their home. The amount of the original loan was $350,000 for a term of 30 years with, an in, with interest at the rate of 5.76 per year compounded monthly for the first five years. The Campbell's mortgage is due to reset next month and the new interest rate will be 6.96% uh, per year compounded monthly. First, what was the Campbell's monthly mortgage payment for the first five years? And second, what will the Campbell's new monthly mortgage payment be after the reset? By how much will the monthly payments increase? So here we go. Um, P denotes, I'm the right problem here. Okay, so first, we find the Campbell's monthly payment on the original loan amount. Um, R is equal to P times I. This is our amortization. Uh, amortization formula over one minus one plus I to the negative N. And here P is $350,000. I is 0 0.0576 over 12, which is 0.0048 and we are looking for n which is 360. So r equals 350,000 times 0 0.0048 over 1 plus 1.0048 to the negative 360. Plugging this into a calculator, we get approximately 2044.729, which is about $2,044.73 uh, for the first five years. B, we want to find the amount of the Campbell's new mortgage payment. We need to find their outstanding principal, which is given by the present value of the remaining mortgage payments. P equals, we use our rate uh, or our uh, monthly payment from the previous period, 2044. 0.729 times 1 minus 1 plus, this is our annuity formula, 0 0.0048 to the negative 360 over 0 0.0048, which comes out to approximately 324,000 $709.19. We now compute the amount of their new mortgage payment for the, next, for the remaining term. We've already gone five years, so now we need to go an additional 50, uh, 25 years or 300 months here. Um, so for this, P equals 324,709.194. We're using the actual value we would have calculated here or close enough to it, three decimal places. We just drop that for the to break this down to cents. Um, I equals 0 0.0696. Uh, 
over 12, which is 0 0.0058, and N equals 300. Using our amortization formula, we have 324,709.194 times 0 0 0.0058 divided by um, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0058 to the negative 300, which is approximately 2,286.698, or about 2,286.70. dollars 70 which if, with simple subtraction gives us an increase of $241.97. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, get in touch.